This month, a new baby in the hybrid yacht world has been conceived in Venice. We are talking about Moonflower 72. A lot of high hopes are on this one as it's considered a result of art, Italian culture, and innovative technology. The hybrid superyacht is going to be delivered in 2025. So let's take a look at how it started and the idea behind it and dig deeper to see its potential. Hey guys and welcome back to Efficient Power, where if it's efficient and has power, then we've got the latest news and updates for you. If you've been watching my videos, then help us keep giving you some of these fresh updates by liking and subscribing to our channel. Today we ravage the waters with the Moonflower Superyacht, so let's get to it. At Porto Marghera in Venice, Italy, the Moonflower 72's keel was formally laid this month. The project, whose design was provided by Nauta Design, will surpass the wider shipyard's current flagship by 20 meters in length and represent its largest construction to date. Although it might seem like an unusual choice for yacht construction, Wider's president and co-owner Marcella Maggi chose Venice as it has all the qualities we were searching for. On the one hand, sustainable spaces and solid abilities were developed over decades of activity in metal making. On the other hand, the allure of Venice's culture and artistic life. In related news, Wider plans to resume boat building in Fano, Italy. Delivery of Moonflower 72 is anticipated for 2025. Wider Yachts and Nana Design had a brainstorming session in early 2021 that resulted in a contract being signed for the Moonflower 72 this past January. The Super Yachts construction got underway this week. The shipyard is the proper cocktail of technology and team organization to make the project a reality. And that is how Mario Pedal of Nauta Yachts intended to build it. The collaboration was started by Wider's president Marcello Maggi and co-founder of Nauta Design Pedal. Pedal realized Wider might be a good fit for a new project for his studio after they discussed their individual projects and aspirations. A client specifically requested that a mega yacht in the range of 230 feet be built, which is something about 70 meters in range. Soon later, Nauta Design provided Wider with the information. In September 2021, the owner and Wider and Nauta Design agreed on a letter of intent. Three months later, the contract was issued. The customer chose the shipyard, among other things, because of its emphasis on hybrid propulsion. On projects like Sicilia, the first Wider 165, Wider yachts made hybrid propulsion standard equipment. It happened before the majority of builders had set up their first application. Speaking of wider 165, it has an overall length of 50 meters, a beam of about 8.5 meters, and a draft of 2 meters. It can cruise with the speed of 13 knots when in half load. Wider 165 has a full capacity fuel of 57,000 liters and a water capacity of 13,000 liters. The owner's own patio that opens off the full beam master stateroom is one of the wider 165's many distinctive features. The spacious guest accommodations consist of four cabins with bathrooms. The wider 165 was designed to meet the most recent crew standards, the Y3. There are four twin staterooms, a spacious captain's cabin close to the wheelhouse, and a sizable crew mess. The engine room is closest to the guest accommodations and is directly accessible from the central corridor. A power generator room at the bow has taken the place of the customary engine room. As a result, the most stable area of the yacht can now accommodate larger, more comfortable guest cabins in the center of the boat. Only the utilization of azimuthal pods, which receive power via an electric wire as opposed to conventional propulsion systems, which use shafts, makes this configuration viable. Wider 165 is now for sale, and the owner is asking for $30 million. Now, back to the youngest superyacht, for now. The Moonflower 72 will pair a bank of sodium nickel batteries with an output of roughly 1 megawatt with 1,860 kilowatts of variable speed gensets. The shipyard is also putting in waste heat recovery equipment. Artificial intelligence is also being used to learn how owners, visitors, and staff use energy-intensive amenities and alter efficiency accordingly. The company in charge of naval architecture, style, and interior design is also including its well-known characteristics. A notable feature of the Moonflower 72 is its innovative system of fold-down bulwarks, the island. At the beach club level, they make a smooth, roomy walk-around area. 
In addition, Moonflower 72 has a pool, as can be seen. At this time, there are no more specifics regarding the project available. We have made significant investments in modernizing the shipyard, however, in preparation for orders like this one. The layout will include the island. The island is a patented beach club concept by Nauta Design. An expanded aft deck with folding bulwark terraces that link to create a single walk-around space is the focal point of the design. A seawater pool with a teak bottom will be part of the stern platform and may be lifted and lowered to flush with the deck. According to the shipyard, the exterior of the Moonflower 72 project will have a clean and uncluttered design, with a chamfered shear line midships and a lot of glass. The exterior and outside appearance adheres to Nana's guiding principle of simple, uncomplicated design without excessive or unnecessary detailing. The balanced proportions are highlighted by the visual lightness, seamless outdoor and indoor connections, primarily horizontal lines, and liberal use of glass, while the displacement hull's chamfered shear line adds a dynamic element. The Moonflower 72 maintains all the essential elements of contemporary yet classic design, maximum onboard livability, and connection to the marine environment, which are important elements of all NADA projects. We discovered wider to be the ideal blend of team organization and technology to bring the project to fruition. Marcelo Maggi, president of Wider, is invested in restructuring the shipyard in anticipation of orders like this one, and thanks to the current management that has been working together for 30 years, Wider is able to build the Moonflower 72 to the highest quality levels. Marcelo Maggi is one of the founders, shareholders, and president of Bluefin Sorrel, the holding company that holds all of the shares in Wider. A hybrid propulsion system with two 1,860 kilowatts of variable speed generators, each and roughly one megawatt of the bank of sodium nickel batteries, will power the Moonflower 72. The use of cutting-edge ideas and technologies to be in tune with the water and the environment played a major role in this project, as it has in previous ones for wider. Recovery of thermal energy from the electrical propulsion system has received a lot of attention, as has to optimize the use of the onboard amenities to boost efficiency and cut consumption by utilizing AI to automatically learn the habits of the owner, visitors, and crew. Tilly Antonelli founded Wider after leaving the Ferretti Group and establishing his own business. In 2010, the first Wider 42 was introduced. The Wider 150, also known as M slash Wibartali, was introduced in October 2015. The Wider 165 was introduced in May 2018, and she most recently won the displacement motor yacht between 300 and 499 gross tonnage and above category at the Boat International World Super Yacht Awards. Massimo Gino and Mario Padol established Nauta Design in 1985. They were invited to design motor yachts of all sizes, such as the outer profile of the Lorsen Megayacht Azam, in addition to the yachts for Southern Wind and projects with Baltic yachts. Now that you know the technology behind Moonflower 72, the art, the companies, and the price for wider 165 super yacht, tell us how much do you think Moonflower 72 will cost after being completely finished? And how much will its owner ask for it to be sold? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. And while you're here, if you liked the video, don't forget to press that like button and give us your thoughts in the comments below. You heard it first from Efficient Power, where it is efficient and has power. Thank you for watching.